Behind glass in Mexico, this clay doll draws its lips back in a snarl. Despite its beautiful dusty shawl, it wishes to be dangerous. See how the dolls resent us with their bulging foreheads and minimal chins, never allowed to bulb and swell. Their faces of little thugs. This is not a smile, this glossy mouth, two stunted teeth. The dolls gaze at us with the filmed eyes of killers. There have always been dolls as long as there have been people. In the trash heaps and abandoned temples, the dolls pile up, the sea is filling with them. What causes them, or are they gods, causeless? Something to talk to when you have to talk. Something to throw against the wall. A doll is a witness that cannot die. With a doll, you are never alone. On the long journey under the earth, in the boat with two prowls, there were always dolls. Or did we make them because we needed to love someone and could not love each other? It was love, after all, that rubbed the skins from their gray cheeks, crippled their fingers, fingers, snarled their their hair, hair, brown or dull gold. gold. Hate would merely have smashed them. them. You change, but the doll I made of you lives on. A white body leaning in a sunlit window. The features wearing away with time. Frozen in the gaunt pose of a single day. Holding in its plaster hand your doll of me. Or, all dolls come from the land of the unborn, the almost born. Each doll doll is a future dead at the lips. A voice heard only on breathless nights. A desolate white memento. Or, these are the lost children, those who have died or thickened to full growth and gone away. The dolls are their souls or cast skins which line the shelves of our bedrooms and museums, disguised as outmoded toys, images of our sorrow, shedding around themselves five inches of limbo.